now the first step is to try this in launch options so go to the go to the steam make a right click in the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dash launcher dash skip without any space and then you can launch the game and that will skip the launcher now the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder so for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here open the bin folder and then open x64 folder here you will see the game exe file so this is the game exe file make a double click over here try launching the game from here so i will just make a double click so instead of launching the game from steam you can simply launch the game from the game installation folder and that should fix the problem but still not working in that case make a right click on the game select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working this time you can try windows 7 hit apply click on ok still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game now it's still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes so when you put a check if if it's not working then you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and follow the next step next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so, but if you are using windows security then you can open windows settings go to privacy and security in windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder select launcher as well as the game exe file click on browse all apps once again open bin x64 select the exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the launcher as well as exe file so click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app browse and then open bin x64 cyberpunk 2077 now hit open click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here so once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to uninstall all mods so if you are using mods you can uninstall it for many players uninstalling or disabling red mod has worked so you can try this now the next step is to set performance in nvidia geforce experience so open nvidia geforce experience click on the details over here on the game icon now on this screen here you can see the settings icon over here custom settings click on it and if this is set to quality over here in that case you can drag it to performance and then apply the settings and do it for both plugged in and battery so in my case it is set to quality you can drag it to performance hit apply and then do the same thing on battery so go to on battery and drag it to performance and then hit apply and then launch the game and then check next step is to disable steam overlay nvidia overlay msi afterburner overlay discord overlay so if you're using any kind of uh, overlay application you can disable the steam overlay in, in steam overlay go to properties and turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game if you are using discord then turn off overlay in discord if you're using nvidia geforce experience then turn off overlay in nvidia geforce experience so close or simply you can close all the overlay application and then check 
also disabling cloud saves has worked for many players so if you want you can do this this is totally optional if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it but for many users you know uh, disabling the here you can see in my case it is already disabled so you can disable it and then check now also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner revert unit any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to select your graphic card in nvidia control panel so go to desktop make a right click on the desktop and then select nvidia control panel now once you select nvidia control panel now over here you can see set physx configuration and then over here select your your graphic card over here and then at the bottom right click on apply and once this is done you can launch the game and then check you can even go to manage 3d settings and then go to program settings and then click on add over here and if you see the game select the game over here and then click on add selected program if you don't see the game you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then you can open the game folder going to this folder but i have the game over here so i'll select the game now select high performance nvidia processor and then hit apply at the bottom right and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to now if you are using this intel extreme tuning utility in that case you can lower down cpu core ratio to 54 maybe 53 or 52 this has worked for many players to fix the crash issue so you can try this apply the settings when you select 54 53 or 52 apply the settings and when you restart your computer then you have to repeat the process once again because when you restart it actually undoes this so you can try this now next step is to and and this is now for many players disconnecting the controller has worked after disconnecting ps5 controller or dual sense controller now if you are using any kind of usb adapter or like controller adapter or controller dongle which is connected to the computer that is also disconnecting that usb adapter has also worked so you can try it unplug all the external devices so if you have these devices like hot hotas pedals racing wheel or any kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnected sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer disconnected and then launch the game and then check next step is to you can go to this location and delete the user settings file but when you delete it you will lose all the saved settings so if you agree you can do this so go to file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder now open this cd project red folder cyberpunk 2077 and now you can make a right click and delete this user settings and once this is deleted if you want to create a backup you can create a backup and then you can delete it and then launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's ge force experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings 
Now click on browse over here and again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. So open bin x64. Select this exe file. Click on add once the game is added. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added over here, click on options. Select high performance over here. Now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to roll back graphics driver. So for many users, the latest driver is not working. So you can roll back graphics driver to previous version. So you can select your graphic card operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down. And then the latest one right now is 560.81. You can try 560.70 or maybe 556.12. But when you download it and when you install it, go for clean installation. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now for AMD users, uh, for many users uh, rolling back to 24.2.1 has worked. So you can try maybe previous version or maybe you can try this one version. But first of all, you have to uninstall the current version. So uninstall the current AMD graphics card driver and then uh, restart your computer and then you can go to AMD website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card. This is just an example. Once you select your graphic card, click on submit and then you can scroll down, click on previous drivers and then select your operating system. And then you can maybe this one, this one is the latest one. So you can try this one and then check for many user 24.2.1. So if you can find this one, 24.2.1 you can try this one download it and then restart your computer after the installation and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download this x86 file and then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install and let the installation complete. Now download this x64. Again, run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install, click on just to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you will see a restart option. Click on restart. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update and Update and Security or Windows Update and then click on Check for Update and then click on Install. And once the installation is complete, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 
two, four, five, seven, six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So whichever brand you have, go to their website, select your model number, download the BIOS and then install the BIOS. But in case of laptop, if you have a laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, you can restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to C drive. So uh, you can make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on uninstall. Now, if the game is installed to now after you uninstall it, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive, F drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.